get it right this time, and I will lead off with the fact that Chinatown remains one of the safest neighborhoods in the city of Chicago. Uh, that being said, um, we did have some uh, instances of violent crimes that we were concerned about, particularly robberies in the Chinatown area. Um, I'm happy to report that in, a, in about a five week period, we've seen a reduction in violent crime by about 63%. Uh, and a reduction in robberies by 40% since our last uh, security meeting. Uh, as I said before, we, as I said before, we don't consider that uh, victory, but progress. Um, I've said it before that our goal is zero crime, which we know is unrealistic. However, if we work with that goal in mind, uh, we'll continue to drive uh, those crime numbers down. And uh, I will once again uh, thank all of you for your involvement. I believe that uh, our communication, I believe that our collaboration, and I, I feel strongly that some of the things that we've put in place with uh, our area detectives who are joining us today, from law enforcement, with those uh, partnerships that we've uh, established, certainly through this security meeting, this security meeting that we've, uh, that we've, we're on our third one now, and that I see this uh, continuing. Um, want to um, thank all of you for that and uh, some of our strategies that we did I do want to once again repeat uh, we recruited and successfully uh, uh, had uh, assigned to the 9th district a uh, bilingual officer she speaks both Toisan and uh, Mandarin and she will uh, she will serve as our liaison between the 9th district and the Chinatown area that was 211 was Alexander, which was um, allegedly their employment office. I'm going uh, with that. Um, when my neighborhood watch, we're currently patrolling during an evening. Hey, please intercom 101. Thank you. But uh, we've been doing um, quite a great job. Crime has been cut down very much because of our presence, and because you know there's uh, extra a beat uh, a foot beat in uh, Chinatown 981 Adam. 981 boy, and a lot of times I'd speak with James Robinson and exchange information, you know, what's going on. Suspicious people stop us all the time for ask us questions, or they're like shocked when they see the car and they see the Chinese, you know, writing and the English writing. But they know we're there to help them, to protect them. Now, what else? What are your